How to get what you want in life. Most people, when they think of how to get what they want in life, they think of two different things. One, they think of being a go-getter. I'm going to figure out what I want and I'm going to just go get it. The second thing that they think to do is maybe they've already tried that and they think, I'm just going to let go. I'm just going to let it come to me. I'm just going to, I attract, I don't chase. You've heard, probably heard all these things, right? Um, attraction, the law of attraction. Those are the two uh, things I see people doing to try and figure out how to get what they want. And maybe you're somebody who has tried both of them and figured out that none of these work or both of these don't work or none of this stuff works. Or maybe you've tried being a go-getter. You're, go, you're, you're going after what you want. It doesn't work. You go, you go back to, oh, I'm just going to let go and attract it and just see what happens. You know, I had someone recently talking about finding... Uh, the idea of finding love, you know, you hear, I heard it from them, the idea that, oh, it just happens when you least expect it. And of course, this is coming from somebody or a couple who uh, found each other at like, you know, 24 years old, 25 years old, went to went to college, graduated from college, then all of a sudden, the same time, they both met each other and lived happily ever after. Well, I really wasn't buying into that at the time, and I still don't buy into that. But maybe you go through that phase where I, you start to think maybe this is true. You have people giving you this advice. And then that doesn't work. And then you go back to being a go-getter again. You just go back and forth on the seesaw. Back and forth, back and forth. And this is what I think happens to most people. And there is a middle there is a middle ground, just like with everything else. There's a middle ground. And I don't think you should give up being a go-getter. And I don't think you should give up being someone who lets go. I have actually tried both, um, and I, I've been someone who's a go-getter, and I have been someone who's been on the path of least resistance, the path of letting go. Me, personally, I've been a devout Catholic before, so we think of that, the idea of like many um, Christian people or people who are religious, they you know leave it all up to God, more of the idea of letting go. I've been a devout Catholic before. I've spent years, maybe not like a long, long time, but I, I grew up Catholic and I, I did spend a couple years as a devout Catholic. And I also have spent time as a business person going after business, hardcore, uh, in a few different businesses. So I can just, my personal experience tells me that, yes, both of them can work for some people, but for me, I've tried both and they don't work, at least they didn't work at that time. And I'm not here to say that they... If both of those paths don't work for some people. But what I am getting at is that there is a middle ground where you may need, there may be times where you need to be a go-getter and there's times where you need to sit back, relax, meditate, chill, not do anything. And that is where we get the idea of the middle way. Uh, and But see, the thing is, how do you distinguish between, how do you distinguish between the two? When is it a good time to be a go-getter and when is it a, t a time to just sit back and watch TV or do or do some art or just ride ride your bike, etc.? How do you know when when the right time is? And usually, you can. It's safe to say you could feel. Like a lot of people would say that they feel. You know, they f they go by their feelings or the intuition. They feel like it's a good weekend to go out this weekend, or it's a good year to focus on their career, etc. But what would it be like if you had a tool that could help guide you on when on what the when the right time was to be more outgoing and more focused on this and when was the time to be more introspective and a time to focus more on maybe say self-care. And there is a tool if you haven't if this is your first time watching one of my videos, this is the first time finding my channel, that tool is astrology and that's the name of my channel, Joe's Astrology. And if you have already subscribed to my channel, then then you obviously are here. You're obviously already into astrology. You know about astrology. And I can tell you from my personal experience of everything I mentioned of being a go-getter, being someone who is religious, being someone who's spiritual, who's tried to let go, let law of attraction, all of that. And, and also a person who has studied and practiced astrology for over seven years now. It is the one thing that has helped me navigate this back and forth more so than anything else in my life. And I don't think you necessarily need astrology. You could be someone who 
You know, I think there's maybe a couple of different types of people that have um, experiences, these types of experiences in their life. So one might be they are truly on the path of intuition, um, being guided by a certain spirit or by, guided by God or their guardian angel, if you will, for lack of a better term, any of these things. And they get it right all the time. And they usually don't have any pro they probably don't have any problems or not as many problems as most people and they probably won't be watching this channel. But then there's other people who sometimes they feel like they're on the right path and sometimes they don't. And then there's the another category I would say where the person is just all over the place and can't figure can't figure anything out. And those last the the last two the former uh, the uh, the last two that I mentioned those are the two that would be watching this channel, that would find this video interesting, and that would find astrology interesting. Because what astrology is going to do is it's going to confirm, at the very least, and you know you won't find this from a lot of people on YouTube that talk trash on astrology, etc. But at the very least, astrology is a useful tool because it's going to conf it's it's going to confirm, or it can, if you're working with a trustworthy person or someone knows what they're doing, it can confirm for you uh, what your life um, what your life path is what it can confirm with you what's going on in your life right now so let's say right now you have some good feelings that this year is going to be a really good year to set up your career for the next year meaning you're going to put a lot of work in now and then next year you're going to see the fruition of that and you're going to really settle into a career and you're sensing that's coming to you let's say maybe because you just graduated college and You've already worked a year or two and you're starting a new position and you feel like this should be the time when that happens, but you don't really know. With astrology, someone like me as an as experienced astrologer, I can tell you or I can help you learn astrology so that you understand that, yes, we can confirm that that may be the case for you. Or maybe you feel that and your intuition's wrong. And um, not to say the astrologer is going to tell you that you're wrong, but the astrologer can look at it and say, you know what? Keep an open mind here. Don't don't um, maybe don't go all in with the go getting right. Keep an open mind. Uh, still continue on the path that you think you that you think you um, are on or that you should be on. But keep an open mind and don't don't let yourself get disappointed because something else might be in store for you next year. We can look at what that might be, and then we can look at the person who, you know, even the person who's on who thinks they're on the right path. And that same idea of the career, we can look at that and let's say you, you feel that this is true, but you're nervous, you're scared, you've spent a lot of money, you devoted a lot of time on this, and you're kind of, um, you feel that you have to devote, devote a little bit more time to it, but you don't want to. You're ready to just let loose and have fun. An astrologer can look at that and confirm to you, yes, a little bit longer. Go a little bit longer, finish the grad school, uh, you could say... Finish doing the hard work at the position that you feel like you've outgrown. Keep working hard at it because at this time, something's going to change. And that's going to be the time when you make your move. An astrologer like myself can do that for you. And let's take looking at the third category. Uh, let's say you have no idea what's going on. You're always, you're all over the place. If you can look at your chart, you can look at your astrology and see that you actually may, you, may, you might enjoy being all over the place. And what we can do is we can confirm that that maybe you know all the people that were trying to fix you over the years they weren't necessarily wrong but maybe the answer isn't to fix you but to find something that works for you that allows you to be a little bit more scattered and we can do that work with astrology as well or we can take that information and you can do that work with somebody else uh, with a with a counselor or a parent or a friend they don't have to know about astrology, but we can at least come to the conclusion, the right conclusion, or the better conclusion, the middle ground here, that uh, you can find solutions for your um, for your life and make make what you find yourself doing. You can make that work for you. You don't really have to fix yourself. It can work. There's a reason why you are the way you are, and we can make that. We can the astrologer can help you make that work for you. So if you're in any one of those three scenarios, uh, how to how to get what you want in life, how to become more aware of what your life is about, 
An astrologer can do that. And I'm not sure that, that any other tool out there is as good as this tool. If you don't believe in astrology, if you're afraid of astrology, I encourage you to try it out. It's not going to hurt. That's not going to hurt to try it out. Nothing bad is going to happen. Um, if you want, you can look at someone like me. If I'm, if I'm someone that you trust and you think this information is good, you can go to my YouTube channel. You can look at the other people that are interested. You can look at all the chart readings I've done. You can look at my, um, my reviews on my website. Um, or you can just try me out. Um, very affordable. Or try out any, or just pick up an astrology book. But that's the that's the video I wanted you to to hopefully this find some people out there that are really looking to find out um, you know how to get what they want in life no no BS um, you know something that you can use something that's tangible that's real that you can use even if you're a faith based person or an intuitive person or someone that relies on their intuition, or someone that relies on anything that you've relied on up to this point. If you want something to balance you out, something that's tangible, real, because remember astrology is looking at the placement of the stars and correlating that to life events. And we're taking that information from the birth date, from your birth, your day of birth, your time of birth, and your location of birth. So there really is no need to... Um, to believe in it. It's something tangible. And what you have, that belief in your life, the beliefs that you live by can still be real. We can use both of those together and come to some middle ground somewhere in the middle. It's not just one side or the other, left or right, black or white. There is a blend of the two and we can do that with astrology. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.